I know this is tough, but you hired me to help Joe. No, I'm not sure this is helping. You need to come up with strategies in which Joe becomes part of the game. But at the moment, the communication in his family... Spoken, unspoken. It's not stuff you even see yourself. So imagine me and Joe. He doesn't understand the message in the first place and doesn't have the tools to respond even if he did. How much easier life is if every conversation turns on rote learned details of pop music? So, if Joe's ever going to communicate, we need to learn how to communicate ourselves. Where did you read that? I didn't read that anywhere. I just thought it. <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> He's the kind of guy that would buy the books that they have at the checkout at the bookshop. <laughs> Buddhism for shallow people. <laughs> Things the Dalai Lama said on one of his books. This bandits. is exactly what Maggie's talking about. This right here is our problem. We never shut up. Alison's absolutely right. You don't listen to each other. You leave no space for nuance or exchange or doubt. Is it just me or are you a tough crowd, Maggie? Humor's a great defence mechanism, Morris. It puts the recipient at an immediate disadvantage. I laugh, you've won. I don't laugh and I'm a stereotypical humorless therapist, borderline lesbian, so you've won there too. Where are you going? I uh, can give Joe lifts and I can take him for walks, but I'm, I'm not sure I can do any of this. It's beyond me. And I don't want to mess up anything you and Maggie are cooking up to help Joe, so excuse me. Thank you. Before you've even tried. Well, thank you for being so honest. You too. <laughs>